Hey everybody, what's up? It's Jasmine. First of all, I want to encourage you guys to check out my t-shirt and other things designs on the website tpublic.com. So there I have a whole bunch of designs. You can get it in like hoodies, uh, cups, pillows, tote bags, all sorts of things. And there's a massive sale going on right now. So you can pick up some bargains there and i have designed them all myself which is pretty cool so you can carry around a little bit of me with you but yeah anyway let's carry on with the video and today i've just logged on to youtube and seen that amblin reed has uploaded a new video called leaving youtube dot 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 so that sounds really interesting so i thought we would do a another lunchtime reaction video to an amblin reed video and hopefully we're going to find out if when, how, why Amblin Reed is leaving YouTube. So let's get started. Hey guys, so hello. I need to talk. Yeah. Um, We're ready. We're listening. I, I'm gonna try my hardest not to edit in this video because I want it to be very like just my feelings. I have been on YouTube for almost six years and I truly just I can't even believe it how long it's been um, we can't believe it either there has been so many ups and downs mostly it's just been a wild ride I'm sure not only for myself but for the viewers as well mm -hmm. um, I appreciate the people who have stuck around Aww. like you guys are amazing oh that's so um, nice but the last couple of years few years i have been receiving a lot of hate and mm -hmm. it's been very unfortunate um i have made my my uh bed of mistakes if you will i am not a perfect person obviously hi mm -hmm. i you know i've done things that i've regretted I have done things that might have not might have not been the best for my channel mm -hmm. or just me as a person. Um, I regret some things I've done, but one thing I know for sure is that people do learn from their mistakes and people do change. And it's not that people do learn from their mistakes it's that they can like there's the possibility but that doesn't mean that you definitely are like you don't just naturally learn from your mistakes if you don't uh go out of your way to learn from your mistakes that's something that i will stand by for the rest of my life is that people do change and i no, because I am myself. I am my own person. I have lived with myself for 28 years now. I still can't believe I'm 28. Like, what? <laughs> um, I know that I have changed. I know that I have learned from my mistakes. 100%. I feel like if there wasn't all these crazy rumors about me and, you know... There wasn't like that hate train and that mentality to be on that hate train. I feel like a lot of people would notice that I have changed a lot compared to how I used to be in the past. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> if she had changed, then she would be on a better path. If anything, I think she's changed for the worse. Like, if you see her very first videos she talks about that she wants to do a weight loss channel and she wants to have a positive journey but now she's like oh anybody that criticizes a hater and I'm just doing whatever I want and putting the blame on things like oh this diet doesn't work and these doctors are aren't good doctors and things like that so I mean yeah we've noticed that she changed but we've noticed that she's changed for the worst like she seemed really optimistic in her very first videos but now it seems really like she just uses YouTube 
to make money and it's not really a way for her to get to a healthier lifestyle past i am more laid back now and i think it's a lot too because like the medicine i'm taking and like just like seeing a psychiatrist i'm like really trying to be in tune with my emotions and like the way that i am my point is like i have learned from my mistakes and i'm not talking about like weight loss or diet plans or anything like that i'm just talking about the way that i've done things in the past and whatnot and i have apologized for countless things that i've done in the past and i have forgiven myself and it's like there is a large amount of people who haven't forgiven me for things and <laughs> this is something that i actually thought that she would bring this up just because you forgive yourself that doesn't mean that other people have to forgive you like people who go to Alcoholics Anonymous right and they they learn to live without uh, alcohol in their life they can apologize to the people that have that they have hurt and then they can learn to forgive themselves so that they can go on with their life but there is no obligation for the people that they've hurt to forgive forgive th them and part of learning to be a better person is accepting that other people they it's it's not it's not you don't have the right to be forgiven um <clears throat> but you do have the right to forgive yourself and move on but if you're walking around being annoyed and angry that other people haven't forgiven you like you're forgiven given yourself then that really defeats the purpose because you're putting you're giving other people a job and their job is to forgive you but you know uh no they they don't need that job that's not something you should be forcing on anybody i i don't want to be a victim of this and i'm not making excuses for myself I know that I receive hate because of the things I've done in the past. I receive hate because some people portray me as a horrible person and it makes me question, am I a horrible person? I receive hate because I constantly start a diet, fail a diet, start a diet, fail a diet. I receive hate because I started my channel is a weight loss channel and it's been a weight gain channel i receive hate because i'm fat all of these variations are very true because i see the hate i receive the hate i feel the hate i read the hate a very very large portion of it is cruel I understand disliking me and sharing that opinion wholeheartedly. I will stand by that's totally okay. But to truly like be cruel, calling me a whale, telling me I'm disgusting, telling me that like no wonder why I in foster care because my parents couldn't even love me no one's ever gonna love me I'm trying to get becky to leave me I'm trying to make my roommates and my friends hate me just telling me that i probably stink i'm disgusting that i can't sit on their furniture that i'm ugly that i waddle i've had people tell me i deserve to die that they hope i have a heart attack live i have received so many people just telling me you are you are disgusting you're a those people that are saying those things that is really disgusting <clears throat> and i could imagine that that would be really awful to hear especially like your parents never loved you and that's why you went into foster care like that sort of stuff is disgusting and it happens to a lot of youtubers so i mean i don't know if that helps Evelyn Reed in any way but knowing that some people are there just to be disgusting um 
it happens to everybody. So, I mean, I, I would hope that knowing that other people go through the exact same thing, even if they're, you know, super popular and loved by everybody, um, I would hope that that would give Amblin Reed some um, peace of mind that um, it's not really her. Uh, people who say really disgusting things like that, it's them, you know, they're just really awful people, like, why would you, why would you say, I hope you have a heart attack on camera, like, that's just really gross. You're a C-U-N-T, just so many things that I was to upload a video, and it was of me doing my makeup, and I began to question my YouTube career. I had a moment of weakness, which I don't like being weak. I like to try to be as strong as I can. I had a moment of weakness where I told myself, I don't think I could do this anymore. I don't think I can live anymore. I don't think I could. I almost felt like, what's the point of me living? You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed by the amount of just like horrible things said to me. And I hate calling it cyberbullying because I feel like it's so like cliche. Like everyone says like cyberbullying so bad, but it's like the truth. And I hate to be the one to like talk about it because... I feel like no matter what I do, no matter what I say, it's used against me and people call me a victim and that's not what I want in this video. I don't want to be like a victim. I just, I don't know how to convey that I'm finally hurt. I'm finally hurt and it's like, I almost want to say like, you guys won. You guys have won. I have saved a lot of money from doing YouTube. I have saved it because I, there was a moment where I thought I was going to get weight loss surgery. Maybe one day I want to buy a house and, you know, now I just feel like maybe the universe was having me save it because maybe one day I should leave YouTube. Maybe my whole path was, like, drawn out for me, and I should actually leave YouTube, find something else better to do. And it's like, I don't want to do that because YouTube is something that works for me. You guys know, I'm morbidly obese, and it's like, I'm so grateful that I found something to where I can express myself and, you know create content and show my life as someone this size and with my binging and my bipolar and like just everything that I am. This is really complicated because When she thinks about when she thinks about YouTube, she thinks that it's something that helps her. At least that's what she says. But it doesn't do anything for her, really. Like how many years has she been on YouTube? And she's not really she's not in a better mental state. She's not in a better physical state. So really, you know, if we look at YouTube, you could even argue that YouTube's really bad for her, you know, that it's caused her to gain weight and that it's caused her to have uh, mental difficulties. I mean, I'm not saying that, that it has, I'm just saying that if you're going to look at the evidence, you know, she's every, like, when she started YouTube, she was a lower weight and now she's like a oh, way more bigger person and it seems like her mental health has declined <coughs> and she's uh, been upset and stressed out about these 
um, awful people and what they say, and then also um, feeling awful about people who who are uh, making negative comments, but they're not necessarily bullying her. Um, so she says that YouTube works for her, but it doesn't really, does it? I mean, I think that she's a little bit maybe delusional, like she thinks it's helping her, but it's really not. Like if it was helping her, she would be healthy. She would be in a good mental state. She would, you know, she would be better, but it's, it's not. And, um, also, the other thing that I think is a problem with her thinking is that, you know, she's saved up money, right? Um, and now she's like, what am I going to do with it? But the thing is, is that, like, <laughs> in a normal world, you save up money to do things. So it's not, it's not a big deal that she's saved up money. Like, I'm saving money to eventually buy a house that doesn't mean that I'm going to quit my job um but it seems like she thinks that her saving money means something like oh the universe is telling me that I should quit YouTube but saving money is just a part of life so that you can go on holiday or you can buy a house or you can save for your retirement or um you can invest in things so that your money grows and you might be in a better position later on in life so I don't think that her saving money is telling anything. The I don't think that it's part of, part of part of the universe telling her something. I think it's just um, a normal part of life that you do in case something happens or in case you need money or working towards your goals. <laughs> All while being able being able to make money and it's been a blessing in disguise. But it, there's also been so much, like, it's like, I don't want to go into grave detail, but, like, I am physically in pain because, like, my chest and my heart are hurt. And I just don't know what to do anymore. Like don't get as many views if my comments are turned off if my comments are ever turned off it's because like my mental health is rotten like I literally just need a moment where people aren't attacking me and it's like people get upset at that you know it's no matter what I do no matter literally what I do I'm gonna be attacked you know and I'm it's like, I asked for a second chance years ago, you know, and it's like people can't get over what happened years ago and they keep holding on to what happened years ago. Yeah, I see other YouTubers who have done horrible things that I can't even like put into words. I literally cannot put into words and they still have love and support. This is just a massive pity party and I understand that there are really awful people on YouTube but she's really mixing them up with just her normal everyday viewers. Like lots of people give Amblin Reed support and they want to see her get better but then she looks at these hate comments and she's like oh everybody hates me and I don't get any support. <laughs> it's just it's not gonna work with that sort of negative thinking and I don't see why she doesn't turn comments off like I know that she gets less views but like if it's negatively affecting you just do it like who cares about you know your viewers you've got to put yourself first and if that means turning off likes and dislikes turning off comments just do it like I'm I'm all for doing things that work for you and to me it seems like She's saying that YouTube works for her, but it's not, and so she's got to make something different. So if, and if turning comments off is is the difference that's gonna help her, then do it. Like, screw what everybody else thinks. Seriously, like, 
you gotta you gotta do you really and like Amberlynn Reid always says that she can't please everyone so think about that Amberlynn you can't please anyone like you can't please everyone you can't even necessarily please anyone maybe so just do what you have to do to get yourself in a better place just do it I can't stick to a diet um I've had mistakes in the past but it's like I don't know if I deserve the actual like hardcore vile and cruel comments nobody deserves it nobody deserves people telling them that they should die unless they're literally a genocidal maniac then you don't deserve it like that's just point blank just like get that in your head and stick with it like you don't deserve to be told that you deserve to die you don't deserve to be told that you're you know whatever like whatever the extreme hate is you don't deserve it just like write that down and remember it because honestly like people are out there saying awful things to everybody and I think that the fact that Amblin Reid gets a lot of negative comments in general because of uh you know her failure to make significant changes she then thinks that that's where the extreme hate com comes from but the extreme hate is just awful people going around trolling trying to be awful people like it's got nothing to do with the rest of the other people who are just like you know I've seen that you haven't made changes in years and I'm really disappointed and I'm really pissed off you know those are two completely separate groups maybe I do deserve them maybe I am a horrible person you know maybe I was in foster care because my parents didn't love me and I wasn't wanted maybe maybe it's true maybe I'm disgusting and maybe one day I am gonna die live on a live stream of me having a heart attack maybe it is gonna happen while filming uploading I can't do it I need to take a break I need to take the advice that I have been given and I need to do this for me and I'm scared to take a break because I don't want to become irrelevant I don't I don't want any of that like I don't want people to forget about me but it's like I want the wrong people to forget about me if that makes sense like I don't want my supporters to think I'm deserting them or something because like I'm not I just I can't feel this way anymore. I feel like if one more bad thing happens, if I read one more comment, I'm going to lose my sanity, I feel like. Because it has become so much. It has become so painful. I used to be strong and I feel like I've just become weak. Maybe YouTube just isn't for me anymore. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really tired of hurting. Okay, so Amberlynn Reed is taking a break from YouTube, it seems, to get herself into, I think, a better mental place. Hopefully, a physical mental place as well. Hopefully, she'll use the time to... Uh, work on her weight loss etc um, and I think that this this video was basically a big uh, explanation of why she is leaving YouTube but the main thing and basically the only thing that she talked about for 25 minutes was that uh, people are really mean to her and that's why she's leaving YouTube and honestly I think that it's a good idea like she always talks about 
she always tells us that she doesn't read the comments and she doesn't read the hate and etc but that's obviously a lie right um and so if it's getting herself into a bad place like take a break man you know people like seriously reading all of that those negative comments and especially the the really disgusting comments that is gonna be really hard on you so you gotta like you gotta block that stuff out um and if that means taking a break from the internet heck yeah do that like i fully support like put your put yourself first amelyn reed um but other than that i think that she's uh she's getting confused and lumping all of the sort of the negative comments about the fact that she hasn't changed in years along with these uh these people who are really writing really disgusting things and that's just not right because like people give me negative criticisms right and that's different from hate like if somebody says you know i think that you're a really uh awful person and i can't believe that you made a video about this like that's different from somebody who says you should die you're disgusting you know like yeah so uh she's lumping these different groups together and then i think it's probably like making it seem worse um but you know really there are people out there who go around being awful because it gives them a kick and that's got nothing to do with who you are or anything like that um and also <laughs> There is also just a general big bunch of denial going on here saying that YouTube works for her. It doesn't. It hasn't worked. She's not in any better place. Like financially she's better, um, but like her life is not really any better than it was seven years ago, is it? Like I haven't noticed that she's happier or anything like that. So I don't know. Like. Anyway, I think that the money has done things, you know, like now she can't quit because she makes good money and that sucks. So basically YouTube has turned her into a slave and that is, that's not a good place to be in. Um, also, so she's worried that she'll become irrelevant if she takes a break. Just don't even worry about it. Like it doesn't matter what other people think of you and if they remember you or not you've really got to take care of yourself so ah, just she needs to let that stuff go she needs to just whoosh, push it away and be herself and I think that if she does come back to YouTube uh, she should definitely get someone to moderate her social media profiles and things like that somebody who will go through and like respond to fans and things like that but who will also um, block the disgusting comments and things like that um, so that she doesn't have to go through that, you know, like that's a really simple solution, you know, pay someone to moderate the comments and then, so then Amber and Reed wouldn't have to read all the stuff that's going to get her into a bad place, right? Uh, yeah, so anyway, I think that there's some really practical solutions to some of the things that she's pointing out uh, but I think the biggest fallacy here is that YouTube is helping her I don't see how YouTube is helping her at all so yeah anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think down below and I'll see you guys all next time hey -do!